begin the repair, we're going to make sure that our device is fully powered off. From there, we're going to use our thumb and just pry open the back cover here, as shown. Once that is done, we're going to remove the battery, the SIM card, and the memory card. Once this is complete, we're just going to move this to the side, and we're going to pull out our small Phillips screwdriver, size double zero, and we're going to remove the nine screws, as shown in the diagram to the left. All these screws will be the same size, so you don't have to worry about mixing them up. Move those final screws here. I'm just going to move those off to the side. Now we're just going to use our safe open pry tool. And we're just going to pry along the seam right here in between the back housing and the screen assembly. Once you get your pry tool in, it should slide around very easily, just releasing those clips. And then pry along all the edges, and there we go. On the back housing here, we only have one main component, and that's going to be the loudspeaker assembly. That can be removed just by a little bit of pressure on the back here, and there we go. I'm just going to put these off to the side. Now on the motherboard here, we're going to have a few connections to release, a few screws to release to fully remove it. I'm just going to have one small Phillips screw we're going to remove right now. It's going to be shown in red in the diagram to the left. From there we have five pop connectors and two antenna connections that we're going to remove on the upper part of the motherboard here. So all these connections, you just want to use your pry tool and just gently lift up on the connection. And it should pop right off. Right there we have the screen assembly. The headphone jack, speaker and proximity sensor, and the front camera there. On the left side there we have the USB port and the lighting. Just gonna release that one and the final antenna. Once all these connections are released, we can then gently lift up on the motherboard and remove it from the screen assembly. I want to make sure that that main camera also doesn't get caught. So here's a look at the front of the motherboard and the back. To remove the camera, we're just going to release this pop connector. The camera slides right out. All right. And there we go. Now focus on the upper parts here. We have two more small Phillips screws to remove. Those are going to be shown in red again in the diagram to the left. Both these screws will be the same size, so you don't have to worry about mixing those two up. The one on the motherboard will be black and will be different. I'm just going to use a small flathead screwdriver. It seems to be the best way to remove this cover right here. I'm just going to get underneath it. It does require a little bit of pressure to remove this clip. Just when you hit the right angle, it should pop off quite easily. So here's a look at that piece. I'm just going to put that to the side. And we're now just going to remove these components up here, starting with the headphone jack, which should just slide out very easily now. So there we have a look at the headphone assembly. On the left here, we're going to have the ear speaker and sensors. It's going to be held in place with just a little bit of adhesive, but it should be easy enough to pull out. And finally, we have the front camera on the very far left here. And that easily just slides right out of its socket. And lastly, we're going to remove the vibrate motor, which is located right here. It's going to be held in place with adhesive. I ended up using just a small flathead screwdriver, as it's easier to get underneath all the adhesive. So once you get those, that adhesive released, it's just easy to pop right out. I'm just going to put that to the side. And now we're ready to start working on the lower part. So first we're going to move this little cover covering the USB port. Using a little bit of pressure it should pop it right off. And then we're going to have just two antenna connections here. I'm not going to release that one yet. I'm just going to pull it loose from the top. There's going to be one connection right here. It's kind of hidden. That's going to be for your home button. 
You just gotta swing it around. Then you'll be able to apply a little bit of pressure and remove the USB port flex cable. It's gonna be held in place with a little bit of adhesive as well. So you just wanna lift it up just slightly, get your pry tool underneath, and just release that adhesive. And you'll be able to just pop that right out. As you can see, the antenna connection just came loose by itself. I'm just gonna put that to the side. And there we go. So this flex cable here is going to have the USB port, as you can see, and also the microphone there. All right. So now we are just left with the screen assembly and the home button flex cable. So the next thing we're going to do here is if you were replacing your screen, you would use a heat gun or a hair dryer. In this case, we're using a new heat gun. We're just going to keep it at a low setting, not to damage the housing or any sort of way or overheat the screen assembly. We're just going to work our way around using quick movements. You don't want to stay in one area too long. As you can see it takes about 45 seconds normally. Now this LCD screen is held in place with quite a bit of adhesive on the back side of it so it is suggested to heat the back of the LCD as well. At this point we're just going to use a safe open pry tool and just slide it along that seam and begin releasing the screen assembly away from the housing. On the bottom here you want to be especially careful though as the keypad flex cable is attached to the screen and you don't want to rip that as you're pulling it out. Also that home button usually gets jarred loose a little bit there as you can see. So I'll make sure you don't lose that. Yeah, so you just want to be very careful here not to rip that cable. I'm going to swap to a, a nylon spudger. This is going to give me a little bit more reach. And just release some of that adhesive on the back of the LCD screen. Let's continue working your way around. Once I was able to get around that keypad flex, it was quite simple. Just begin releasing all that adhesive. I'm going to attempt to salvage the screen, so I'm not going to damage it. Sometimes it will cause damage when doing this. However, in this one, it seems to be coming up quite nicely. And there we go, that final little bit of adhesive. And then we just need to guide through that home button flex cable, through that slot in the housing. And there we go. The screen assembly is now removed from the front housing. fully disassemble it, we're just going to remove this keypad flex and home button flex. It's just held in place with a little bit of adhesive. Let's gently peel that back. And there we go. And 